All right, welcome everyone. This is, I'm, I'm Wade from Real You Inc. and I'm so fortunate and excited and blessed to have Adam Aven here today to uh, speak to us and share some of the, the projects that he's been working on. He's an amazing young man. He's 15 years old and, and was the founder of the Wolf Shanty. And well, the Wolf Shanty is a mascot dog that spreads hope and peace, love and joy to to kids at hospitals, at schools, and then online. He's done over 100 different videos that have inspired kids ages four to 10. And now he's growing, he's, he's 15 years old, and he's reaching out to uh, tweens and, and doing some wonderful foundations and, and some different work as well in that area. But the Wolf Shanty is a children's uh, wellness foundation. And there's, like I mentioned, two other foundations that he's that he's working on and developing as well. And his, his videos have been on PBS and Children's Networks. And uh, it's just an amazing opportunity to be able to speak with him, as well as seven different books that, uh, I believe it's seven different books. Is that correct, Adam? Yeah. Yeah, yeah seven different books. And he was even mentioned, or they were, Wolf Shanty was mentioned on Maroon 5's Facebook page. So there's all sorts of questions that I have to ask him about, and one of the, the very unique things that uh, was shared on that, the TED Talks that he did uh, just over the past year uh, was about his, his grandpa and how he inspired within him uh, these, these wonderful traits that he's so openly sharing with, with, with kids at hospitals and, and spreading hope to them in, in ways that, um, many youth aren't being exposed to, and he's really stepping up and, and being a leader at such a young age. Uh, like I said, five years ago this began, and, and so he's so far along, and uh, it's really an inspiration to, to see what uh, the next generation has to offer and to have someone that's stepping into this leadership role uh, like Adam here. And so without further ado, I'd like to introduce Adam and ask him a few questions. Um, again, thanks for being here, Adam forward to uh, uh, sharing your story and, and if you could maybe let me know, uh, let us know um, what, uh, uh, where you came up with the, the, the name Wolf Shanty and which, uh, what, what kind of inspired you. Uh, was it uh, your grandpa, uh, Jack, is that correct, his name? Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you for yeah. having me. Um, I came up with Wolf Shanty when I was about nine or 10. Uh, because I wanted to honor my great grandpa uh, when he passed away. Um, he was a very mindful person and taught me all of his mantras. And I just wanted to carry that uh, on and, and pay it forward to other kids. Uh, it started off with the dog character for our early learning curriculum. And now we've expanded to, like you said, teens and tweens, uh, minus the dog character. Uh, our curriculum focuses on mindfulness, including yoga, meditation, positive thinking, diversity, inclusion, communication, um, social emotional learning, self awareness, self regulation, sub compassion, peace, kindness, so much more. I can't even name it. And it's so important to teach kids these tools if we really want to stop the violence and make a positive impact on the world. So um, we're just trying to push forward every second. Yeah, well, I couldn't come at a better time. I mean, uh, there's never a bad time for it, but we really need to step up and, uh, again, commend your leadership in, in doing that because uh, we really need to learn and do do some things different than we've been doing in the past. And I wanted to ask you a question in regards to what mindfulness practices do you utilize for yourself on a, on a regular basis uh, to, to kind of help you move forward in, in this direction and, and spend so much space in promoting it? Uh, well, you know, I feel like, um, when I was younger, uh, I used to do a lot of like mindful art or like even or yoga. And, uh, n now that I'm older, um, I, I try to, I try to find things that, um, I can really focus on like, like breathing techniques, breathing practices. Um, I'm a golfer. So when I'm on a golf course, I put in my headphones, listen to music because it, um, it's peaceful for me. It helps me relax. Um, and I think there's a lot of things kids can do to, to help. Yeah. No, I think there's something to be said about uh, mindfulness and the, uh, 
the misconception of it being having to be a certain type of practice. It's, it's being able to lose yourself in something and uh, it could be drawing or writing or just stepping outside. You know, the breathing is just one of many different areas, but uh, golf for me has always been something I want to uh, really tackle and understand better because that's the one sport where there's a, such a mind game and it's such a, uh, you need to really keep your cool and calm and realize it's, it's a lot more com- it's more, a lot more difficult than just hitting a tiny ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just right. If you and if your your mind is in a good place, you you're able to play a more fluent and relaxed game. So uh, um, yeah, yeah. it's a, it's a unique sport. In fact, you can do it later in life too. So um, well, good. Then the other thing is, do um, you have a fun memory of when you could fit in the costume of, of the wolf shanty? <laughs> Uh, of something unique or fun, funny that you could share with us today. Yeah, um, we we we've had a lot of fun moments with Shanti. Um, definitely going and um, seeing the kids, um, like in the hospital or or in general, they they cheer up when they see with Shanti. Um, a funny thing that I did, you know, when we first got like certified and, uh, to teach kids yoga, you know, wearing a big mascot, mascot costume, um, you might fall down a couple of times because it's hard to balance in there. Um, I had to learn how to balance inside of the, the dog costume. But, uh, you know, that's where all the, uh, all the mindfulness practice um, and like focus training helped. Um, you know, the kids laugh, they think it's part of an act. So it's all good and I'm glad I, yeah, I'm glad that I can make them smile. And like you said, I'm too tall for it now. So uh, we have to get other people to wear it. But, uh, That's right. but <laughs> as long as we bring with and make the kids happy, then then we do our job. So Yeah, that's right. So and is there um, uh, a certain thing that maybe you would direct kids to, to do uh, if you were to leave a message in regards to uh, maybe a step forward if they're new to, uh, you know, like maybe – some of the kids that you meet at hospitals or a message that you want to send uh, when you're doing videos or speaking uh, to, to reach out or, or give them one little practice that they can implement in their life to, to, to lean into. Yeah. Um, I think there's a lot of great games that we play with kids to help them be mindful. Um, you know, like we have our laughing game, we have our gratitude game. Um, with the laughing game, they make up fake laughs and our, and our bodies learn the signal from our brain. And, and even if it's fake, um, our brain doesn't know that and, and our, our, our cells think we do and, and it tricks us into being happy and we become happy. It makes us feel better. Um, and it's contagious. So the friends next to us start laughing too and it's a, it's a whole game. Um, another game, the gratitude game is nice because it focuses on looking on the bright side. Um, we say that something makes us happy and it can be anything and it can be done in, in the morning when you wake up or at night when you're about to go to sleep or anytime you're not feeling great. It just reminds us that, that we have goodness in our life. Um, I've heard answers like playing with my friends or swimming with my brother or cuddling with my dog. And then one little girl after she had surgery, um, she said life. So that was amazing. And, um, and all the adults in the room, like they, they get teary eyed. And one thing I like to teach um, kids is our, our main mantra, um, think well to be well. Um, and peace begins with me. They can do that. When, uh, they do this when they're sad. It's just tapping your fingers to your thumb. Think well to be well. Peace begins with me. It's a good calming tool. It helps you calm down and feel better when you're upset. Um, so you just do that three times out loud, then silently, then in your head. And and you just start to find that inner calm. So I think there's a lot of tools that, um, that we teach kids that kids can use to help control their emotions and feel better. Yeah, that's great. No, I know that, uh, yeah, just those simple practices. I know in your TED talk, I think you mentioned about your, uh, with your grandpa and uh, simple things like just smiling or, or ending your day on a positive note and not, not going to bed, sitting, marinating about, something that's negative ended on a good note and so you start fresh and uh, in your next day. So those are, those are great things. And I, I want to dive ahead in, into um, 
what what lies ahead for you in the future? I know that you've uh, again started some some different foundations that that are more age appropriate to to what you're uh, you know what, where you can make that impact in the same age group that that you're into. Um, do you have uh, a certain aspirations or where you would like to like to take the foundation? It was it's called Mind, Mindfulness Kids Peace Summit. And it's an online program, and it's designed for 11 to 14, is it? Or 11 to, is that correct? 17, okay. Yeah, if you, if you want to share some of the information about, about that, that would, be, that would be great to find out where, where they can go on that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we have the Mindful Kids Peace Summit. Um, that was five days online uh, geared towards teens and tweens as part of um, the annual curriculum for middle school and high schools uh, across the globe. Um, each day was a different theme. It was five days. Um, we addressed subjects like diversity, inclusion, communication, anti-bullying, kindness, mindfulness as a tool to deal with stress, social emotional learning, um, positive psychology, and so much more. Um, we had over 70 um, subject matter experts, celebrities, and um, athletes speak uh, on the summit. I, I interviewed ha half of them. Helen Maffini, who co-founded and hosted the summit uh, with me, um, did half of the interviews, and I got to speak with some great people. Um, we're actually re-releasing um, the Peace Summit in September uh, for um, Peace Week, where we are, uh, to kind of kick that off. Uh, so that's great. We're re-releasing it with some new content that hasn't been seen before, new interviews, stuff like that. Um, so we're, we're excited about that. Uh, we have some other things coming, uh, stuff we're working on. Person For me personally, um, I do not know where I see myself um, in the future. Um, I, get, I get asked that a lot, but um, I know whatever I do, it's going to be something that... Um, is something I love and something that can help make a positive difference in the world. Um, so, you know, we'll have to see. And regardless, I hope that in five, 10 years, some more schools across our country will make mental health um, prevention education a priority and part of their core curriculum because it can really stop the violence and, um, and help the world, you know? Yeah, well, that's a perfect answer. That's an authentic answer. And I think there's something to be said about just listening and allowing things to unfold in front of you. And I think that's a healthy approach to, to, to uh, with, with real you, um, we want to uh, walk the walk, and talk, walk, the, walk the talk and being um, in the natural state. That's the, the real, real you message is we want to, people to understand that there is something more. Um, uh, if you lean into who you really are, you can become something special and represent uh, the, the greater good so yeah yeah that's uh, that's great to great to find out I know that um, I wanted to find out I know you mentioned golf I wanted to just kind of get off and find out why what is it you really you know if you what you like what do you like to do outside of uh, of this miss mission of yours the things that uh, you really enjoy or it's your getaway uh, maybe the what would your what would your ultimate day be I guess uh, well, uh, summer's coming to an end, so uh, I, I start school tomorrow. Um, so regular day for me during the school year would pretty much be uh, wake up in the morning, go to school, golf practice in the afternoon, come home and do homework and eat dinner, get ready for bed. It's a lot of that. Uh, during the summer, um, more free time. Uh, I was working, so I, I, I'd go to camp. I was a camp counselor. Um, then I'd come home. I'd be very tired. They tire me out. Uh, but you know, uh, go go golf, um, do with my family, um, hang out with friends. Uh, I like to ride my bike. Um, so I, I have a lot of um, thing extracurriculars that I do. Um, and you know, with Shanti and the Peace Summit, they everything keeps me busy. So I'm do I'm doing a lot and. Uh, that's good. Uh, as busy as I am, it's good. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> that's great. Well, you seem from the few times that we've gotten to, to talk, it sounds like you have a great family and a great network of, of people and support behind you. So 
And I wanted to ask, though, of course, the Maroon 5 thing, that's very interesting to a number of people. How did that happen where, uh, where they recognized Wolf Shanty and did they reach out uh, directly to you or how did, that, how did that play out? Well, you know, um, Adam Levine and Maroon 5, they have been um, supporting us uh, since, for, for a while, for a long time. And um, we've been lucky enough to where they will share the word about Wushantu, the Peace Summit, and that's great. Um, so uh, I don't, I, I don't remember how we got in contact with them, but um, it's great that now we do have contact with them because uh, we, we can get the word out um, about what we do, um, and not not even just about Wolf Shanti, but just about mindfulness and 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 trying to stop the violence and make a better place and i think that's so important and as long as um if it's Maroon five or someone else or another celebrity or anybody that wants to help spread the word i think that's amazing so we're lucky enough to have the contacts to be able to do that you know? yeah no it's yeah it's amazing what the uh, online platform can do and open up opportunities i mean this is a great opportunity for us to partner with you know what you what you've begun and we're so fortunate that uh, that you're allowing us to to kind of lean in and, and into this purpose that we feel very strongly about and and uh, We'll stop at nothing and I know you're the same type you, you really uh, You go right through roadblocks and and but opportunities are there and I, I think the sky's a limit in, in so many different ways, so uh, Yeah, I just I, I what I do want to do is I'll, I'll put the link I won't take up our time, but I'll put the link onto a couple of videos that that you've um, kindly did for us just recently and uh, allow people to, to see that and to share it with your group and uh, to, to work together and move forward in whatever way we can use our skill sets and our abilities and our connections to, uh, to really make a difference. So uh, if you have anything you wanted to, to part us with and uh, to share moving forward, uh, please do so now. Uh, I think I want kids to know that um, you know, it's just uh, it's up to us to try and change the world, and and we we're the next generation. We have the power to stand up and and use our voice and stand up for what we believe in and make a positive difference in the world. Um, you know, I, I started this when I was a kid, and now um, I've got an opportunity to do so many things at 15 and do a TED talk, and I meet lots of great people and helping a lot of people, um, and it feels important and. And and they can do that too. And um, I want them to know. I want people to know that not just kids, but people in general are you're special, and 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 everyone matters, and um, no one should feel that they're alone because um, there's always someone someone there to listen um, and think well to be well. That's it. That's beautiful. <laughs> Very beautiful. <laughs> So, all right. Again, thanks for your time, Adam, and uh, look forward to working more with you and supporting you and in, in, in whatever you do uh, in, well into the future and the great impact you'll, you'll make on many, many lives. So thanks again. Thank you so much for having me.